Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. And from today, I am starting a new tutorial series, which is containers and Kubernetes. And while I was designing this, uh, the content and the course material, okay, I kept in mind for the preparation of the uh, 180 exam, Red Hat 180 exam, which is basically for uh, Kubernetes and the containers, okay. So in this tutorial, in the whole series of tutorials, we will learn Podman, Docker, and Kubernetes, and some concept of OpenShift as well. Okay, so in the first part, we will uh, uh, we will learn what is the container architecture, uh, the difference between Docker and the Podman, and then we will do the our environment setup. Okay, uh, mainly in this environment setup, we will set up the Podman. Okay, and from next video, then we will deep dive into the Kubernetes and uh, uh, containers concept. Okay, so this tutorial series will be very useful. Whoever wants to understand the containers and the Kubernetes, okay, as well as for the students who wants to be certified for the Red Hat exam 180. Okay, this is a very uh, valuable exam. If anybody wants to prepare, then he can follow. Uh, my tutorial series. Okay, so our first topic is the container architecture. So what is containers and why we need the containers? Okay, so here you can see the two uh, diagrams here. One diagram is showing you the virtual machines and other is showing you the containers. Okay, so uh, before containers, generally we use the virtual machines. Okay, so how this virtual machine was working? We are having a infrastructure, you can say the hardware. Okay, Okay, in the hardware, then we are having a, a layer. Okay, this layer we call the hypervisor. This hypervisor layer basically created uh, the virtual machines. Okay, so in virtual, so what is the use of these virtual machine VMs and the use of hypervisor by using these? Okay, now a single uh, hardware can be act as a multiple machines. Okay means in a single computer by using the hypervisor, you can divide your hardware into a multiple uh, machines, okay? In, in one, uh, suppose in, in this case, in this example, uh, we have divided it into the three machines. In one machine, we can have Windows, another we can have uh, Linux likewise, okay? So for user, it will act like a standalone machine, but it is a shared, okay? So this hardware is being shared by the three virtual machines here, okay? And then uh, above every uh, operating system like Windows and uh, Linux, then we have the uh, binaries and the libraries and top of them, then we have our applications code. And these applications generally use the binaries and the libraries, okay? And uh, then these the binary libraries connect to the operating systems and then operating system connected to the beneath hardware, okay? So this was the concept, okay, of the virtual machines. Now let me come to the containers, okay? So in containers, what we are doing in the infrastructure, we are having the operating system, then we are having a container engine. This container engine kind of Docker, this container engine kind of Podman, okay? So currently there are two uh, most famous uh, container demo we can say, one is Docker, another is the Podman, okay? So the concept is like, okay, so in this container engine, then we created the container, okay? In this figure, you can see we have created the three containers here. Every container is having its own binary and binary and uh, library files, and top of it, we are having our applications inside the containers, okay? So means container means we have created a container, okay? Like jar, you can say, okay? So in this container, we kept two things. One is the binaries, libraries, and the application, okay? So means application with its own dependencies. Like, uh, let me show you, okay? Uh, let, me, let me give you some more uh, detail on it, okay? So a uh, container worked on a base image, okay? If this base image can be any kind of base image. Maybe, uh, maybe your uh, code require, um, uh, suppose, uh, RHEL, okay, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux to be to run your application, okay, but your operating system might be uh, any uh, Windows, suppose, okay, 
so in that case okay so what you will do in your container you as a base as a base image you will have uh, red hat linux and your application will work on the red hat linux but actual actual hardware would be windows okay we actually uh, actual operating system would be windows okay so like that it is the very uh, uh, you can say very handy uh, you can say very portable once you have created a container then in any environment and and any operating system which which is having uh, the container engine uh, installed okay so you can port your container to that hardware or that operating system and it will work well okay so means in a container you have now put all your dependencies as well as the uh, as well as the environment as well as your applications okay that's why containers are very useful and especially for the ones we are uh, talking about the microservices okay so in microservice environment these containers are very useful because microservices run in the containers okay and then you can very easily scale up or scale down the containers okay in any cloud environment or in any kind of infrastructure okay and you need not to worry about what operating system um, these um, hardwares are using, okay? You are just concentrating in your uh, containers only, right? So once you have prepared the container, these containers are very much portable. Okay, so let's we go ahead, okay? So uh, Docker and the Podman, okay? So as I, as I told you that um, both are you can say the container uh, daemon you can say both okay so while you will use docker or you will use podman both are the same things whatever command you uh, you must heard about docker because docker is the most popular one podman is the product of uh, rhel red hat enterprise linux okay it is currently not as popular as the docker okay but as we are discussing about uh, uh, in this course uh, mainly in the uh, as per the exam 180 for the red hat okay and for this exam they will use the podman only but uh, i uh, but let me i let i told you that i tell you that docker and podman okay both are very much identical there are very minor difference between these two and we will also discuss these minor minor um, uh, differences in our upcoming videos not now because if we will discuss it it is the complex one right so let we start with the easy and then we will go in, into the more complex things okay so uh, let we move ahead so let me uh, uh, do our environment setup okay so let me show my environment here okay this is my aws account and in my aws account i have uh, uh, provisions of virtual machines there how uh, how to provision your virtual machine uh, there are a lot of tutorials available in the youtube you can check them okay in this tutorial my focus is not on cloud and not to how to set up virtual machines and everything my focus is on the containers and the kubernetes okay that's why i am not going into deep into this you can find many more tutorials for uh, setting up virtual machines so here i have set up this virtual machine and this virtual machine uh, i have chosen is having let me show you it is having Red Hat Enterprise Linux, okay, RHEL 8.3, okay, and it is the requirement for your certification examinations also, right? So every example, every everything we will uh, do in the uh, in this uh, RHEL uh, 8.3 machine, okay? So this machine I have uh, provisions. This machine is currently running, and I have connected it from the Putty software, okay in my uh, in my machine okay so now let me start so first first thing to set up is to set up podman okay podman and docker are the kind of identical okay so we are not going into the docker everything we will run every image we will work okay we will work at through the podman not through the docker okay in this whole uh, tutorial series so um, let me go back to the Podman installation page. This is the 
um, uh, this is the information page, uh, official information page from the Podman side. Okay, so here uh, you can see the uh, Podman installation instruction for uh, Mac, for Windows, and like for Linux distribution, Amazon Linux, CentOS, uh, Debian, Fedora. Okay, so say, and here we came to uh, uh, RHEL 7 and RHEL 8. Okay, so let, because our, uh, our distribution is RHEL 8. Okay, so let me copy this command first. Go to our virtual machine. Okay, and let's run it. Okay, first command completed. Now let me run second command here. Okay, so installation is currently in progress. So it is installing Podman into this virtual machine. Okay, it will take some time. Okay, it is progressing and it is almost done. Okay, so it's now completed. Okay, so let me uh, see. Uh, let me uh, see uh, the whether our Podman has been installed successfully or not. Okay, so sudo Podman. Let me see the version. Okay, so our Podman has been started. Uh, has been uh, installed properly. Okay, so so that's all for today's video and from next video now we will deep dive okay into the more details. Thanks everyone.